Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this papaya halwa. Or uh, you can make pieces of barfi, or you can call it papaya barfi also. So this is very simple and tasty recipe. You can try it at your home and follow my recipe. And if you like this recipe, please hit my channel, subscribe, and like my video if you like it, guys. You can follow me on Twitter also. You can like my Facebook page, Damini's Kitchen. Also, you can directly see my videos by pressing the watch video button through that video. Uh, through Facebook and uh, you can download my app to directly assist to my channel Damini's Kitchen so link is given, given uh, in description for all that so please refer the description also and I have given some important links to uh, to buy some product from Amazon so you if you want to buy something from Amazon then you can uh, refer these links so before starting this video please get my channel subscribe guys I'm requesting you and uh, let's start making it and please pause the video till end. So guys, for making this papaya halwa, or uh, firstly I will make the papaya halwa, then and then I will make the burfi from papaya halwa. So firstly I have taken some papaya. Now I am making the thin puree of this papaya in this mixture. So quickly I will make the thin puree from this. of the papaya into this similarly I will make the thin puree from this papaya this papaya pulp in this mixie you can see the consistency of this and now I need some desi ghee I am using this desi ghee you can use the desi ghee you have in your kitchen so first of all heat the pan properly and now add one tablespoon of ghee into it you can use butter also for making this Wait until the ghee melts into it. Keep it aside. Now add this puree. When the ghee is heated into this. Now we need to stir it continuously for 5 minutes so that the water of this papaya get mixed. You know to cook it on higher flame firstly. So continuously stir it. Now after continuously stirring it for 5 minutes. I am taking the all purpose flour, approximately one large table, one large spoon. So I am adding this into this. The flame is high. You can see that. I need to cook it for 2 to 3 minutes more. You need to continuously stir it. So that the flour will get cooked in. So we get mixed into it properly. Now after cooking it for 2 minutes, I am adding the semolina or suji approximately 1 tablespoon. You can see that the quantity of this is 1 tablespoon. And now again cook it for 2 to 3 minutes you can see that it starts cooking and the flour will get mixed into it and the semolina will also get mixed into it properly now you need to cook it for 2 minutes more and after cooking it for 2 minutes I am adding some more ghee into it you can see that this is ghee and now I am adding it into this so that the Batter will not stick with this pan. Continuously stir it like this. 
cook it for 2 to 3 minutes. Now after cooking for 2 to 3 minutes, I am adding the sugar. You can use the powdered sugar and you can use the simple sugar also. And some coconut powder I am using. You can use some grated coconuts also. So I am using some coconut, grated coconut. And again, mix it well. I am cooking it on lower flame now. You can see that. You need to cook it until the batter will not stick with this pan. So after adding sugar, the color of this will get changed. Because it will leave some water after adding the sugar. You can add the sugar according to your quantity. So I am adding just some more sugar and uh, I need to add a pinch of salt into it just a pinch of salt not more salt I am adding just a pinch of salt because it will help to remove the water from this compound continuously stir it for 2 to 3 minutes more now after cooking it for 2 minutes you can see that it will look like this and now again I am adding half tablespoon of butter or ghee into it and again mix it you need to mix it because you have added the purple all purpose flour and uh, suji to it because it needs to cook more and uh, you have it cooked uh, once it will it starts leaving the vessels in which you are cooking it. Now you can see that the halwa get cooked and you are switching off the flame. Now you can if you want to eat this halwa you, know, you can eat at this time and now i want to make barfi from it that's why i'm serving it in this plate now you can see that it looks very tasty and now it is very simple and easy recipe guys you can make it your at your home and uh, you can give it to your guest also so guys please try this recipe and if you like this recipe please hit my channel subscribe and like my videos if you like it guys and guys you can download my app to directly assist to my channel Lamini's Kitchen link is given in description so please download that app also and, uh, and the third one is that I want to show you one thing more you can uh, like my Facebook page you can see the videos of my channel by clicking the watch button from that page and uh, uh, I am given some links from for amazon so you can buy some products through that link so please see the description below now please guys do my channel subscribe like my facebook page and download my app and like my videos so i want to make it burfi from it so that's why i am serving it in this plate and spreading it evenly in this so you can present it with the help of some dry fruits like almonds, cashew nuts, grated coconut as you want. So clearly evenly spread it through the hole over the plate. Now I have covered the whole surface. Now I am adding some resins over it and some grated coconuts spreading over it like this and guys after refrigerating it for some time this barfi will get ready you can cut down the pieces from it with the help of a knife so if you like this recipe please get my channel subscribe guys please get my channel subscribe like my videos and refer my all videos also so thanks for watching this video guys